Good morning, everybody. Let's talk about the prophetic word again today. We're going to go to Galatians 4, uh, 9, and then Hosea 14, 6, back over to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. There's someone that's making a decision or wanting to make the decision. A part of the decisions that you're making is to go back. You think looking back or going back is the actual answer. Somewhat like the uh, n nation of Israel in the desert said, I can remember the leeks and the cucumbers and all these wonderful things that took place when we were in Egypt and they forgot that they were slaves. And you forget, you're forgetting the position of a slave that you were in as well. Galatians 4.9 says, But now, since you know God, or rather have become known by God, how can you turn back again to the weak and worthless elements if you turn back you are going back to weak and worthless elements. Do you want to be enslaved to them all over again? That's what God's asking you today. Hosea 14.6 gives us hope, though. God says, I do not want you to look back. Looking back is not the answer. Moving forward, putting your hand to the plow and looking back, you're not worthy of the kingdom of God. But putting your hand to the plow and looking forward is what God has called each one of us to be. Hosea 14.6 gives us hope. His new branches will spread and his splendor will be like the olive tree, his fragrance like the forests of Lebanon. You don't believe it right now, but you are going to be used mightily of God and his splendor, your splendor will be like the olive tree, your smell or your fragrance like the forest of Lebanon. You may not believe that right now, but that's exactly what God is doing. When you look back, the enemy does not want you to look forward to the Hosea 14.6 reference. His new branches will spread and his splendor will be like the olive tree. His fragrance like the forest of Lebanon. And of course, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, Now without faith it is impossible to please God. Since the one who draws near to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Now when you actually trust in God, as it said here, now without faith it is impossible to please God. You have to trust him. When you go forward and you when you trust God, when you seek God forward in your life, you must trust him. You cannot rely upon the things that you have done entirely from your past. You can learn what you've learned from the past and move forward. But to go, fo to go backwards, to think that you're accomplishing something, is a mistake. You must trust God forward. Not trust God backwards. Trust God forward. Now, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Since the one who draws near to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. When you trust God, you're seeking him and rewards come. God bless you guys.